I asked Nathan why he uh, wanted to put a microbeast on his T-Rex 600, and uh, here was his reply. Actually, I flew one uh, three weekends ago, and uh, it seemed like it flew more like the 750 that you were, we were working on for you, and uh, thought of be a nice change for the 600. <clears throat> Besides the outstanding performance, are there any other features that you really like? You can set all the parameters on the MicroBeast. You don't have to take a laptop to the field and uh, change parameters, go fly it, take the canopy off, hook the laptop back up if it's not right. and uh, It's very easy to program. Okay, can you show us how easy it is to program the MicroBeast? So each one of these letters corresponds with a letter on the gyro? That's right. Okay, so how do you get into program mode? And turn the radio on. Turn the receiver on. When the status light turns blue, or when it centers, it takes a second. So, okay. you hold down the the menu button. When this light stays solid, not blinking, uh, you're in. Right now, you're in uh, vertical or horizontal mode. If you want to change it, you move your rudder stick. Uh, the blue status light means you're in horizontal mode. If you want to mount it standing up, move the rudder stick, turns red, that's vertical mode. So if you, uh, you just go to the section on the gyro, for example, let's go to tail servo frequency, which is D. So each time you push it, it's going to go through the letters. All right, there we're on D. Uh, flashing blue means it's 333 megahertz. Okay, and that's right here in this same chart, isn't it? Uh, it tells you... Yep, blue flashing. Solid blue is 560. Red is 270. So all the parameters and everything are in this chart. That's right. Well, to find out... How do you change that then? You move the rudder stick M left or right. Everything's with the rudder stick? Yeah. Okay, there's purple, so that's, I think even I can figure that out. That's 50 hertz. So we need to go to blue flashing. There it is. If you don't know uh, how the hertz rating on your servo, uh, Micro Beast has uh, a list of different servos and the hertz they run at. Oh, cool. Okay. So you just go through this whole thing, right? Right. There's another set of charts below called parameters. And to get into that, you have to turn it, you have to turn it off. Let it initialize again. When this light, this yellow light starts flashing, that's uh, a whole different set of uh, options that you can set. And uh, that's A through F. If you get the the main setup right, you shouldn't have to change any of the parameters in in this setup. Mine are all at the stock parameters. Hmm. Okay. And then to get out of it, you just scroll through, it initializes, and you're ready to go. Okay. Well, it looks like a terrific little manual. So this thing's really pretty simple to set up. Looks like they thought of everything. Throw the tape away. Throw the tape away and use the 3M tape. Okay. <laughs>